Hello Cancer, welcome to your weekly reading. This is your forecast for the week ahead. Excuse me, July 6th through July 12th. Um, I was hoping I would be able to, was going to be able to get you reading out yesterday, but I was out sick, not feeling well. Need to take a personal day, so um, just wanted to say I am back today and I'm happy to be getting your reading out. So let's see what's going on for you this week. This reading is for all Cancer Sun Signs, Cancer Moon Signs, Cancer Risings, Cancers on the House Cusp. Those with uh, their Sun in the Fourth House or Venus in Cancer watch this reading. We are using the Game of Thrones Tarot deck today. Lots of cards coming out for you, Cancer, so I know you guys are really ready for your reading. So thank you for uh, your patience. Um, one thing I wanted to say here, oh yes, happy birthday to all my Cancers out there. Happy birthday to all of you. Um, now I do read, uh, I, I'm a, God, the cards are coming out like crazy. I'm going to say, um, this is for people that have, uh, their astrolog, their tropical astrology. I don't do Vedic, I do a tropical, so, uh, but I guess if you're a Vedic, uh, Cancer watching, I mean, what the hell. So... Cancer, we're looking at uh, six cards for your week ahead. How you see yourself today, Cancer? What is the theme for you over the next week? What is something that Cancer has already learned in their past that will be useful for them to remember this week? A challenge they may be facing, a lesson they are learning now, and a gift they will receive. <laughs> you guys really want me to shut up and just get on with your reading. You're funny. You're like, Shh, stop talking. Get, get, start putting those cards down on the table. <laughs> Goodness. All right. So, not with the small talk today. Cancer, July 6th through the 12th. I'm a, uh, by the way, I am my Venus in Cancer and I am a, a Vedic Cancer. So. Uh, my sun sign is in Cancer and Vedic Astrology, so. Yeah, we've got a lot in common. We really do. At the bottom of the deck, we have justice. So something here, you're going to be getting justice for something, or something is going to be made fair or balanced, uh, whether by a court of law or by God's law or just the universal law, so. Also, some of you could be dealing with a Libra. Others of you are just dealing with the justice system, the court system. Uh, I'm hearing appellate court or Supreme Court, uh, Supreme Court justice. Um, there could be a very important decision coming your way. I feel like um, what I want to tell you is that um, it will be fair. If you have acted morally and justly, if you... Um, uh, then you will you will get what you deserve and it will be fair. Okay, so that's that's the main thing I want to say there. Some of you are dealing with a fire sign, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. I'm also seeing that. So Cancer, how you see yourself today? We have the Ace of Cups. So this is the first deacon of your sign. All right, so you're experiencing new feelings right now, a lot of emotions coming to the surface. Think of this as like an emotional cleansing. Some of you have been crying tears of joy or just basically just feeling a lot of emotions right now. It's a, an emotional time for you. Um, I feel like these are happy tears. I don't feel like they're sad tears. Um, some of you recently found out that you're pregnant, so congratulations. Um, I feel like your cup is just your cup runneth over. You're just really happy and grateful for all of your blessings. Um, and uh, as you should be. So congratulations, Cancer. It's been a long time coming. The theme for you this week is the moon in reverse. So this is your card as well. So there's some things here that you're not aware of. There's hidden things. There's hidden information. There's things that have not been revealed to you. Um, I'm also getting that these are your own emotions that you are repressing. Because uh, how I interpret this card is the moon in reverse can be someone who is in denial or repressing their true, repressing, repressing their true feelings for you or you for them. Uh, maybe you're dealing with the Libra. I'm not sure, but something here has not been exposed yet or come to the surface. 
okay, or we're not seeing something as it really is. So do be careful about that. I feel like you're being driven by your emotions at this time, and there's a lot of them. I'm hearing the word, getting the word profuse. So that could be clouding your judgment a little bit. So just be careful. Um, definitely. All right. So your heart chakra is really open right now. Something Cancer has learned in their past that will be useful for them to remember this week. And we have the Page of Cups for first because you're dealing with someone who's very immature. Uh, this can be a younger person, a child here, or someone that acts very childish. Um, this could be someone that's disappointed you in the past. You know, they say they're going to do something and then maybe they don't or... Um, they just act like a baby or they're, they're very immature. Um, also the page of cups reverse can be a disappointing message here or someone that's just a big disappointment. You know, it's like, um, they just always let you down. This is someone that's like let you down in the past or you're just not happy with the offer here. It's not good enough. I'm not really sure. Let's let's keep going. Your challenge this week is the oh yeah, your challenge is the magician in reverse. So you're dealing with you could be dealing with a Sagittarius, a Scorpio, a Gemini, a Virgo, uh, someone who's ruled by the planet Mercury. So well, Mercury is actually in your sign, but it's retrograde. So you're dealing with someone here who's a trickster. They say they're going to do something and they have no intention of following it through. Um, others of you are trying to manifest something, but you're not doing it in the right way. This can also be someone who is uh, not the kind of magician you want to be dealing with. You're dealing with a fraud or someone who's fraudulent, someone who's a con artist. This could also be a pickup artist, someone that um, is trying to pull the wool over your eyes. The lesson you are learning now, we have the Nine of Cups. Okay. I'm getting the message of be happy with what you have. Um, I'm also hearing that you know exactly what this person is trying to pull off here. Someone is feeling very happy about their trophies or their awards. This is someone here who acts very smug. I feel like some of you are dealing with a Sagittarius. Okay, I'm getting Sag energy here. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Others of you could be dealing with a Scorpio. You're learning how to be happy and content with what you have and be satisfied with your accomplishments, okay? That's part of the lesson that you're learning. Um, and also just to enjoy yourself. Enjoy what you have, where you are, who you are, what you've accomplished without needing to go beyond that at this point or to try and pull something off that's beyond your capability capabilities. Your gift is the two of swords in reverse. I see you're going to be making a decision this week um, because the two of swords to me is coming off the fence about something. Also, you may be giving someone the silent treatment or someone may be giving you the silent treatment. So you're, that means you're not talking to this person or they're not talking to you. In any event, I see a decision being made here. Um, you're less confused about the situation, although I feel like there's definitely issues with communication. Um, with your sign being in retrograde, that's bound to happen, right? However, the cards are telling me that this is the way it should be. This is the way God wants it to be. Um, whether you like it or not, it's fair. So it may not feel like that at this time, but... I'm getting that um, if you're dealing with a fire sign, a Libra, I'm getting Scorpio, Sag, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, that this is the way that things are supposed to play out. And any attempt to try and, I don't know, I mean, the magician in reverse in the challenge position just tells me that. Either you're dealing with someone who's a fake and you know it, 
or you yourself are trying to pull something off, uh, but you have no intention of following through. Because this is someone that's a big, talks a big game, but has uh, no follow through. So Cancer, this is your weekly reading. Thank you for watching. Um, if you'd like to book a personal private tarot reading with me, my information is below in the description. I'm pretty much done here, so thanks for watching and have a great week.